Hello everybody, John Adolfi here, and we have got a house one mile east of the village of Manlius. This is 8219 East Seneca Turnpike. Let me give you, show you the lay of the land. And this is a three bedroom, two bath, 1,966 square foot. It doesn't look like 1,900 square feet, but we'll get inside in just a second. Uh, Colonial and it's got a two-car garage out back on 3.36 acres of land, all right? So let's take a look around back and then we'll head inside. Here we all go. Right, it's got vinyl siding. The roof looks pretty good. I would say the roof is somewhere between, oh, maybe 10 years old, somewhere around there. It's got some moss on it. Sometimes when you have moss on a roof, it looks older than it really is. Here's the two-car garage. It's pretty a pretty tall garage, too. Interesting. Just kind of give you a look of the uh, of the yard. Screened in porch. Alright, I'm interested to see where these where this close to 2,000 square feet is in this house. Let's go take a look. Alright, going in through the side door. Let's see, we're in the I was gonna say kitchen, but we're not. We're in a Side room with a dry bar, I guess so. A lot of wings coating throughout this room. And then here we have washer and dryer hookup, which has a little bifold door right there leading to where the side door is where we just came in. Okay, now we're going, okay, there's a little bit of damage there. Sheetrock needs to go up there, a little insulation. Kitchen is, is this tile or is this just fake? It's fake, it's wallpaper. And we got tile there, oak cabinets, nothing special. Got a missing drawer, missing uh, door there. Kind of give you a whole real good look at everything. The fixtures are missing, all right. I'll give you another look at the kitchen just from a distance. Hardwood floors that um, need to be cleaned up a little bit. Got wood windows. Okay. Carpeting was removed from this room right here, which could be considered a bedroom. It's a very large bedroom at that. Check it out. I mean, we're talking probably almost 20 by 20. One, two, three, four. Five, well, at least 15 by 15. Okay. Here's your main door. Okay. Stairway upstairs. We'll go in just a second from the main door. Here's, look at the plank flooring. Now, this house was built in 1880. So that's probably original plank flooring. And the carpet's been pulled up. Big window, some vinyl windows. There's a crack in that one right there. Okay. All right, and then there's another room here. Looks like there was a, some sort of bifold door here. This could have been a bedroom. I say that with some degree of skepticism because it's small, but there is a full bath here. And it's got Okay, that's, it's a fiberglass tub and it just needs to be cleaned up or just plain old ripped out and replaced. Same thing with here. We've got some, just a mishmash of, of a lot of different things from different eras, you know? So you'd be the better judgment of what you want to do in here, but it could, it could stand some, some TLC. <laughs> Okay, we got carpeting on the stairway going up here. Another full bath. This has got to be the metal tub. Yeah, ooh, that's dense too. That's like an iron tub. Okay, you've got wallboard. And then what's trying to look like nice floorings, just the vinyl squares. It's okay. Here's a peek of the roof. Yeah, roof looks good. I'd say it's five to ten years old. 
Maybe even closer to five. See what I'm saying? It's older, it's, some of it's a little bit worn, some of it's, it's okay condition, but it's old. Okay, you got a hall closet right here. Got a nice size bedroom here. This needs to be painted up nicely. I would put new carpeting in. It's missing the baseboard trim. Vinyl siding. See what I mean about the the mold? I'm uh, not the mold, but the um, uh, the fungus and everything on there. The moss. Yeah, you clean that off, and it'll look like the rest of the roof does. Again, another nice big room with some vinyl windows. You got another crack in a window over there. Very nice. Is it 2,000 square feet or almost 2,000 square feet? Perhaps. Just didn't seem like it. All right, let's All right, we're down in the basement. It's an older basement, of course, since the age of this uh, property sold. That's where you can supplement your heating with wood. Yep, you just put wood right in that door right there, and uh, the blower will send it out through all the vents if you're not using the gas, um, gas portion of this, so it would seem. Yep, there's the gas pipe leading down to, and it's older. You know, this is going to be a, um, I just want to double check that. Yeah, that's what it would seem. Why you can't put any wood in here, though? Or can you? Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Sorry, a little bit of uh, hesitation. You don't see these too often, and uh, I just wanted to make sure. All right, we got circuit breakers. That's good. All right, not much to see down here. So you could replace your furnace, and you definitely want to replace your hot water tank down here. There's a Bilco door that goes out there, some pump right there. That's about it. I'll give you my final thoughts in just a okay, second. Okay, as you can see, there's enough work in here to keep you busy. Just to give you some stats here, okay? In 2001, it sold for $77,000. Oh, uh oh here comes the thumb. And uh, assessed value currently is 118.1. HUD started this on the market for $108,000. I didn't get a chance to get in here until it's come down a couple of times. It's currently at $87,480. And I'm going to give it a... Are you serious? You're like wishy-washy about the whole thing. You're not sure. I mean, manliest for under 90000 Oh, now it gets pretty exciting. That's the great thing. Now, there have been people already that talked about cutting, just tearing this house down and using it as a lot to build an upper scale home. Or you can invest the money and make this into a better property than it is right now and live in Manlius for under $90,000. What would you like to see this go for? Would you like to see it go for 70? 70, it's a thumbs up. All right. Got a little ways to go, but we're very close. So give us a call, 695-6434. I'm John Adolphe. That's Mr. Thumb. He doesn't lie, and real estate is awesome.